managing the audio context, loading a piano instrument, fetching EG data, plotting the EG data on the chart, converting EG data to MIDI notes, and playing the sequence. Yeah, so it is treating, as you can obviously tell, it is treating the amplitudes as frequency. I'll try another channel. This is what we need to change. Just wondering if we should leave this as an option, as a amplitude modulation music option. I mean, first because it's already there and it kind of works generating music kind of based on the amplitude of the signal. This is another channel. Yeah, so you can see this three more the same. This kind of works, it does something not very useful. Also expect the seizures in the middle of this file as well. I have seizures so we'll have much uh, higher variability. I try clicking on that without it generating multiple times. Yeah, there's a problem with this code that when we scroll using the data position scroller, it uh, registers more than one value. So that's another something we need to fix. The GitHub, GitHub Copilot doesn't seem to get the context, get the mistake. We ask uh, GPT-4. So we can ask if uh, a load data function, just ask an open-ended question, what load data function returns? Because in the code it assumes uh, frequencies are being returned, but it's actually amplitude, so it needs to be corrected. Yeah, GitHub Copilot says uh, load data function returns a list of lists, each in a list represents a row of EG data and contains two elements, the EG reading from the specific channel and the corresponding time in seconds. The function returns specified number of these rows starting from a specified start point, the channel from which the EG is taken. So the question is, uh, is it returning frequencies? The answer should be no. It does load data function return frequencies and it should be no, even though the code assumes so. No, function does not return frequencies, return EG data from the specific channel. Yes, it's voltage values, not frequencies. The conversion to frequencies or any other form of data would need to be done separately. So where is conversion to frequencies being performed? It's, well, it's nowhere in this code. There's a separate function for this. Yeah, it's not done in the code, that's correct. Yeah, taking what's called EG frequencies but actually representing voltages, that's correct. And scales these values to a range. This is not a conversion to be to frequencies in the typical sense. If you want to convert the EG voltage to frequencies, you would need to perform a Fourier transform or a similar operation, which is not present in provided code. Please note that the conversion from voltages to frequencies in EG data is complex process, blah blah. Yeah, of course it is. So we still need to do it. But instead of this prompt here, where it's obviously just uh, suggesting to correct the names, we want to actually update the code to perform conversion to frequencies. So far, I didn't have much luck with GitHub Copilot. That's probably because I don't know how to use it. It's geared towards more experienced programmers. Right, so it's writing some convert to frequency 550. I assume it's using, I don't know what's uh, the difference between the R, FFT to FFT. Might go with GPT-4 suggestion. I mean, GitHub Copilot meant to use GPT-4 anyway, but for some reason it gives you different uh, functions. Kind of at this stage, I trust the, the, GP, the OpenAI interface to uh, some larger extent. Do we need to get this correctly, so might as well. It's doing, it's finding one dominant frequency for the whole segment, is it? I have to check. No, it's doing frequencies. So what's the segment size? Where is segment coming from? There's a question for amplitude between delta, big theta, up to 40 hertz. You want to match notes. Yeah, I do want to match notes eventually. Well, we'll start with some sort of linear, linear interpolation, but eventually. So yeah, at the moment, at the, moment the template just does uh, basic uh, amplitude to frequency conversion. 
So the higher the amplitude is, the higher frequency node. But yes, but now we're turning it into frequency, an actual frequency conversion. So at the moment it just does. Yeah, so that, that's the template that the uh, originally gave. And now we uh, will convert it to actual frequency. Uh, I think one of the main problems will be what type of window size. So the EG data should be the data displayed on the chart. Currently it's only the 16, uh, uh, 16 data points. Default is 100. This data is very long, so there's no shortage of data. Also, this data sampling rate is 400. So I don't know if that, how to use that uh, information in when converting to music. Uh, any suggestions are welcome. So eventually this tool, the idea of it is to have, so you could scroll through pre-recorded EG uh, choose your channel's uh, window size and then potentially additional controls will be selecting your uh, segment size so essentially or just have it fixed so for example each window will be divided into whatever 10 and then have uh, 20 or 30 as your minimum window size so for every 30 uh, data points you'll be getting half the notes the musical notes or yeah you need at least how many do you need to calculate f minimum of, well, I would say probably like 10 or something. So yeah, if we're going by default, so for every 100 uh, data points, we should, we should generate about not more than uh, 10 musical notes. Essentially, when you load the page, reload the page, default goes to channel 0, 100 data points, uh, 0 position in the file. There are seizures later, so is it? Let's start playing. No. Yeah, there's an buggy thing that if I actually use the data position scroller, it registered, registers it as if I clicked uh, twice or more than once. It's repeating the same thing twice. which you could do possibly with um, a different musical instrument or something. So the other thing that other channels could then be different musical instruments. So we need the uh, 16 of them in this case. So we have our frequency, we'll leave the, these prompts for now, just save the chat later. Say any suggestions of how to do it are more than welcome. Essentially we want to hear what the uh, seizures uh, sound like. And yes, it's highly biased because we can essentially make them sound anything you like. So we're adding this, uh, so we already have NumPy, SNP, so we have this uh, dominant frequency. Question is, where's the segment coming from? Because we don't have it in the code. So we should have all our functions at the bottom. We already have numpires and B loaded. The segment coming from segment. So just taking the EG data. Don't quite get it. So now in convert EG, it won't work with it. Convert EG, have EG data. Right, so this is EG voltages, not EG frequencies. Then we have this bit. Let's double check, triple check. EG frequencies. This is the sampling rate. It should be 400. It's actually like 399.9 .9 or something, but uh, yeah, round it up. It should be fine. Then we have MIDI numbers here yeah, using EG frequencies and we're returning conversion successful MIDI numbers. 
Yes, yeah, should this be should have um global should this be a global variable? Let's make this global right convert to each it's global what else? Sampling rate FS ensure that the sampling rate FS used in the FFD matches the actual sampling rate of your EEG data. Yeah, we'll make this a global variable, so that's fine. Windowing the FFD is applied on segments or windows for data. So what's different between segment and window? Uh, segment. Yeah, it's only used in uh, uh, getting frequencies. You might need to creatively map these frequencies to a musical scale or use some form of quantization to fit them into a musical context. Uh, yeah, how do I? That would be a big thing, wouldn't it? You might need to optimize your code for performance. Yeah, currently I'm using, a, I only have one a note, a, one musical font around piano. But yes, I want to try others as well, like bass guitar would be really nice for seizures, I think, because, or I don't know if it will sound more like drums or something. Let's save this. This wouldn't work, would it? So do we need to scale differently? Do we need suggestions for scaling eg to midi so that would be the range of the notes i think to modify the scale underscore eg underscore underscore midi function to handle frequency data you will need to consider how the range of eeg derived frequencies maps onto the midi node range given that eeg frequencies typically range from around 0 0.5 hertz to 70 hertz covering delta theta alpha beta and gamma waves you should decide how to map these frequencies to a musical scale the other thing is uh, we could map uh, different uh, instruments to different bands that kind of that makes more sense doesn't it uh, a common method is to scale the frequencies logarithmically to match the way musical pitch is perceived here's an example of how you can modify the scale underscore eeg underscore underscore midi function to handle frequency data right so that's the frequency to number conversion yeah frequency below zero yeah obviously otherwise yeah we're already doing that the logarithmic Scale. Now we have scaling. It's the scale function. Yeah. So returning median numbers. That's okay. A common method is to scale the frequencies logarithmically to match the way musical pitch is perceived. Frequency underscore to underscore midi underscore number converts a frequency value to a midi number based on the formula for calculating the pitch of a musical note. Midi note 69 is standard A4, 440 hertz, and each increase by one represents a semitone up. Scale underscore eeg underscore to underscore midi, eeg underscore frequencies, converts each eeg frequency to a midi number using frequency underscore to underscore midi underscore number. It also clamps the midi numbers to a valid range, 21 to 108 for a standard piano. This approach assumes a direct mapping from frequency to pitch. However, eeg data's musical translation might not be straightforward due to the non-musical nature of eeg frequencies. You may need to experiment with different mappings or scales to achieve a musically coherent result. Additionally, consider the implications of mapping very low or very high frequencies, as they might fall outside the range of human hearing or the range of midi note. Yes, we need some sort of, um, for the last point there, we need some sort of uh, range uh, calibration. We have this function twice now. It's where it's being used. Comment this out. Let's try, let's test this, see what we get. 